Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to learn chapter 14, Thermodynamic. In this video, we are going to discuss 14.2 Thermodynamic Process. So, there are four types of thermodynamic process. The first one is isothermal, isovolumetric. The third one is isobaric. And lastly, we have adiabatic. Okay, so we start with the isothermal. Okay, isothermal is defined as the process where T is constant, the temperature is constant. Okay, from the graph, we know that our temperature is constant. Okay, meaning that it will obey the Boyce law. Okay, so Boyce law said that when T constant, P1, V1 will equal to P2, V2. Okay, since U is directly proportional to T, so when T constant, U also constant. Okay, so therefore our change of the internal energy will equal to zero. Okay, so if you refer back to the first law of thermodynamics, Q equals to delta U plus work done, there is no changing of the temperature, therefore our delta U also equals to zero. Okay, so heat will equal to work done. Okay, so we look at this ex expression. Okay, all heat transferred into the system is converted into the work done by the system to the surrounding. Okay, so meaning that when Q is positive, flow into the system, our work done also positive, right? It is expansion. Okay, it's expansion. Okay, next, all the work done on is actually compression. The system is converted into heat loss to the surrounding. Okay? Meaning that when work done is negative, Q will also equal to negative. Huh? Okay, next we will go to isovolumetric. Okay, so isovolumetric or sometimes we will call it as isochlorine huh? is defined as the process that occurs at a constant volume. Is defined as a process that occur in a constant volume okay so since the volume is constant meaning that we will get the graph where v is constant huh? okay and it also obeys the pressure law where p1 over t1 equals to p2 over t2 okay v is constant meaning that our work done is equal to zero huh? because work done equation is equal to p times change of the volume okay so our work done is equal to p pressure times change of the volume okay so since volume is constant okay meaning that our work done will equal to zero okay so if you follow the first law of thermodynamic q equals to change of internal energy plus work done so when isovolumetric v is not changing therefore work done will also equal to zero okay so our equation will equal to the heat equals to change of the internal energy okay so based on this statement okay based on this equation so here there's the statement huh? if the heat added okay meaning that q is positive to the gas cube at a constant volume all the heat goes into increasing of the internal energy okay which is accompanied by the increase of the temperature okay meaning that when q is positive huh? added meaning that it's positive delta u will positive as well because the temperature is increasing okay conservatively if the heat is lost meaning that q is negative in an isochloric isochloric meaning is isovolumetric yeah? meaning that v is constant okay so when v is constant okay the internal energy of the gas decrease so does the temperature okay so similar for this statement meaning that when q lost yeah? q negative change of the internal energy also negative okay meaning that our temperature will reduce okay so this is based on the equations given uh, when v constant okay next we go to isobaric isobaric is defined as the process that occur at constant pressure okay so if you refer the graph okay the pressure is constant and the volume is changing okay so it obeys charles law where when p constant v1 over t1 equals to v2 over t2 okay so when p constant okay our work done is equal to p times change of the volume okay so we can write work done equals to p v final minus v initial okay so this is how you find the work done of when p is constant okay if you follow back to the first law of thermodynamics Q is equal to change of the internal energy plus work done. Okay, so this work done, we can use P times V final minus V initial to find the work done. Okay. Okay, next. Based on the equations given here, okay, in an isobaric expansion, uh, expansion meaning that the work done is positive, heat added to the gas as it is heated and increasing of delta U and the work done is 
by the gas. Okay, so what is what does it mean? Meaning that when expansion expansion our V volume is increasing, therefore work done also increase. Heat is added to the gas and it is heated and increasing of delta U. Okay, so if let's say the delta U also positive or increasing, okay, so meaning that our Q also you will get a positive value. Okay. Okay, lastly is the adiabatic. Adiabatic is defined as the process occur without heat transfer into or out of the system. Okay, so usually adiabatic, okay, our graph here it is changing of the temperature. Okay, so for example, let's say this is point A, this is point B. Okay, and we know that the temperature at T1 is actually greater than T2. Okay, so if let's say uh, from A to B, Okay, from A to B is actually is expansion because it's from V1 to V2. Okay, we can use P1 V1 over T1 equals to P2 V2 over T2 if let's say there's the information is given. Okay, so adiabatic when there's no heat into the system or out from the system, meaning that the Q is equal to zero. Okay, so if you follow back the first law of thermodynamics, Q is equal to change of the internal energy plus the work done. Okay, so since adiabatic, there's no heat transfer in or out, Q is equal to zero. Okay, therefore, U will equal to negative work done or positive work done will equal to negative U. Okay, so if you refer back, if you refer back to this graph, okay, when, when the process A to B, meaning that is actually expansion, so when expansion, the volume is increased. Okay, when the volume increase, work done is positive. Okay, so when work done is positive, our delta U, you will get negative. Huh? When negative, meaning that the temperature is reduced. Okay, so if we refer back this graph, from A to B, from A to B, our volume from V1 to V2 huh, is expansion, but the temperature is from T1 to T2. Okay, the temperature is reducing. Okay, so you understand this one? Okay, next in the adiabatic expansion work done, okay, expansion work done by the gas, meaning that our work done is positive, okay, as I explained just now, on the surrounding leads to the corresponding decrease in its internal energy, okay. So at that time, energy will be negative, okay. So as I mentioned just now, okay, okay, next we will go to, okay, conversely, in an adiabatic compression, so when compression work done, you will get negative okay because of the volume is reducing a compression so therefore our delta u will get positive because at that time temperature is increased okay so if you refer back to the graph okay when from b to a b to a from b you go to a okay that time it is compression Okay, so when we say compression, meaning that it's from B to A, huh? the volume is from V2 to V1. Okay, so volume is reducing. When volume is reducing, the work done that you will get is negative. Okay, but the temperature from T2 to T1, huh? from T2 to T1, meaning that the temperature is increasing. So when the temperature is increasing, the internal energy you will get positive. Okay, so all the relationship actually is based on these two. Huh? Okay, when you positive, negative, uh, the work done, you will get negative. Okay, when work done is positive, meaning there is expansion. Okay, at that time, the internal energy will be negative, huh? meaning that the temperature will reduce. Okay, okay that's all for this video. We continue, click with the next video. We will discuss on exercise two. Thank you. See you. Bye.